Hi. <laughs> it's really nice to be here. I hope you all are warm enough and enjoying your pizza. Yeah. We're going to start with a brand new tune that we wrote a couple months ago, and it's Polska. So if you know what that is, you will, you will hear it. If you don't know what that is, you're going to find out very soon. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, so next we're going to play a medley. Um, we, we come from different traditions, but we've kind of met in the middle and learned a lot from each other. I grew up playing, um, well actually I first started playing Celtic music, and then I found old time American music at the Celtic fiddle camp when Bruce Molsky came to teach there. And I really fell in love with that music and kind of went in that direction and playing a lot of bluegrass and all that stuff. But then also heard some Scandinavian music and was just totally blown away. It's such a great fiddle tradition and the tunes are so cool and so different. Um, so I, I just was really enamored with that music. And then when I got to meet Lena and start learning tunes from her, it was it just, it felt kind of meant to be. Um, and we had a really nice musical connection from the beginning. So we, we combine our two styles sometimes and we put together medleys where we take the t some tunes that work well together or sometimes we even like kind of change the tunes to meet in the middle a little bit. But this is a medley of one Polska, a trad tune called Polska after Tornlund. And then we'll go into a tune that's from Kentucky. It's a fiddle player named Ed Haley and the tune's called Rebel Raid.
so you can relax <laughs> after this too. Um, we call it November box because we're actually both born in November, only day, eight days apart. Mm -hmm. so, thought that was a suitable name for this too.
and uh, this is from the village Pinque, where they also have a big fiddle festival every summer with lots of fiddle players and lots of mosquitoes also. <laughs> I, don't, I think there are definitely more mosquitoes than fiddlers, unfortunately. <laughs> well, what don't you do to play fiddle? <laughs> Suffer through. Um, so, and this is from a fiddler called Pecos Pad. <coughs>
box set of lots of amazing Kentucky fiddle players. And the tune's called Shipping's Port. And then I showed it to Leona when she was visiting me last March in Nashville, where I live. And I was, you know, we we're just kind of comparing what, what new tunes have we learned lately. And I said, oh, I really like this one. What do you think? And she said, yeah, that's pretty cool. And she also thought that it would make a cool polska. So we decided to sort of morph it into three, four, and see what would happen. And it, it went well. We like how it sounds that way. So we're going to play both of those versions for you. First the old time way, then the polska. Shipping tunes.
really dangerous playing classical music. <laughs> aren't used to keeping our balance while reading music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One thing too much. <laughs> well, oh yeah, cool.
is a tuning that appears in a bunch of fiddle traditions around the world. It's just a pretty cool one. Um, you know, where it's not tuned in fifths anymore, you have a couple, well, you got a fourth, and you got a major third, and a fifth. And in old time music, we call this tuning calico. I don't know why. Actually, I think probably because there's a tune called that. Much interesting, more interesting uh, story about this tuning, which I'll let Dana tell you. It's called um, the Necken tuning. It's a, a Necken. It's a uh, it's a creature, mythological creature that um, sits in the river. It's a naked man who plays on this tuning on, in the river, and he plays so good. That he tricks people down the river and then they never turn. <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend who actually believed she told me when I told she doesn't play folk music or it, 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 like in the folk world and, and I told her this story and she's like, yeah, my parents they all they always told us kids and they were five siblings. We were never allowed to, to uh, swim in the river at Fort Sass, and it was also like a really fast running water. Yeah, we were never allowed to go there because Lincoln was there. <laughs> so it worked.
dance. So now we'll tune back, back to normal standard tuning. I think the fiddles are happy right now. They're kind of filling back up with water. <laughs>
Well, this has been such a pleasure to play for you all and just spend an afternoon here in this gorgeous room next week.